So over the last week, Arcana came out. I've been spending a lot of time on my Arcana. It's a class that I was looking forward to playing. I kind of like the idea of a more complex class that has a good upside, kind of like a high ceiling for damage. Um, and so I just wanted to share my progress and some thoughts about the class and see what you guys feel about the Arcana, if you guys have been having fun. Also maybe kind of like give some perspective for where I'm at with the class. So I'm in my stronghold here and he is having a great time trains um but let's take a look at where we're at so i was able to hone my arcana up to 1460 off the bat and the first thing that i found that was kind of like a big kind of like gap for the class outside of get it, getting my engravings and this is kind of like a stopgap measure it's just like four by three plus one <clears throat> so nothing too crazy but uh, you definitely want to get your gems and your tripods up first. That was a big thing. And obviously missing the relic set is a big portion of it. Um, but your gems and your tripods are really big. So I spent a lot of money getting level 7 gems. Uh, I don't quite have the money to <laughs> you know, roll out in level 10 gems. But the most important things were the red skills. We want to get damage on uh, our three red skills. And then cooldowns for the rest. I had saved some level 6 gems, which I then turned into level 7 gems. And out of those, I think I RNG'd maybe two level 7 gems. I think a damage and a cooldown gem that was relevant for me. And then I kind of traded and bought the rest of them. And then the other thing that I mentioned is the tripods for your gear. <clears throat> so... Over time, over the week, I've kind of been like checking the market and then buying and reselling certain gear pieces with um, tripods that I thought were really valuable. So I kind of started out with the Vital Point hit. You can see that on Secret Garden. I made sure that was level five. And I made sure Celestial Rain's Vital Point hit was level five. And then after that, it was kind of like RNG, what I dropped and what I was able to buy. So I think I got quick prep on my Spiral Edge as well at level 5. I have uh, Nimble Movement. Um, because my Arcana's level is not that high, we're just at 53.73, we didn't have enough skill points to max out our Scratch Dealer. And um, I think uh, Safety Device is a pretty big one, but because I wasn't able to level the skill yet, I just didn't um, get the tripod for that. Then we RNG'd into Quick Draw here, Quick Draw 5, which I think is like pretty okay. It's not the craziest tripod, but I do think that you want to kind of, um, we also have Perfect Secret at level 5. Eventually you want to get it so that your red skills have basically all the tripods maxed out, because that's where a lot of your damage is going to be coming from. These utility skills are super important as well. Um, having nimble movement on Quadra Accelerate I think is pretty important in smoothing out your rotation. I find that in my initial impressions of running raids <clears throat> on the Arcana, upkeeping your blue cards is, um, is your stacks rather I should say, is gonna be um, something that you're finding, like managing those stacks so that you have it at the right timing. So when a burst window shows up, you can immediately go into your damage as opposed to having to stack up. That can make all the difference. Um, the other thing that I noticed is that um, I guess especially prior to getting um, your Nightmare Relic set, uh, mana is a huge issue. And I don't know if that gets better with levels or what, but mana is a big, big problem. You run out of mana very, very fast, especially if you have some level of uptime. So if, in the meantime, I have Conviction Judgment on my uh, Scratch Dealer and Quadra Accelerate, which has helped a lot. And then the other thing that I did was just set up a very basic um, Chaos Dungeon build. It didn't get too crazy. Basically, you have Preemptive Strike and Order of the Emperor. And it could definitely be better. I think it could be better if I had a maxed out Hitmaster. Um, could be better. Basically, Barricade and Grudge are irrelevant. But it's good enough to do. Um, so that's where I'm at. I just wanted to fill you guys in on... Uh, my progress with the Arcana. Now, honing up to 1460, I'm still printing a lot of materials. I have a lot of characters that are able to do dailies at 1415 plus. You can see these five other characters here, all are kind of like making materials daily. 
But right now I'm trying to like, I'm desperately trying to sell them off. And my main goals are to um, improve my money so that I can get five by three, hopefully plus one engraving. Um, and then I want to potentially upgrade my gems and I'm looking to finish off my grudge engraving books. The price has been going down on those. Um, so they're now at 6,666, which is, which is pretty cheap, but I need to buy 15 more of them. So I have like, I don't know, 50 K more gold to go 60 K more gold to go before I get there. Um, but that's what, that's, what's really on my progression list right now. Um, the other things too is uh, I've gotten some vaults and bones on this character, so I did uh, hard Valton, which I'll have a vod up of, um, and maybe I'll do a review of that and just talk through my decision making and kind of how I thought about that. And then I'm working on my hard Vicus. I think we have another hard Vicus run today on the day of my recording um, in a bit. Uh, cool. So how do I feel about the class? Well. I'm not sure if you guys are deciding to play Arcana, if you guys are wanting to try it out, I was just going to use this video to walk through some Chaos Dungeon stuff and kind of talk about where I'm at with the class and how doing content with it feels. And I would say it's pretty good. It's a, it's quite different than other classes I've played. But for example, with the Chaos Dungeons, you really just like, it feels pretty focused on just getting the one Emperor card. Right, to kind of like fast forward your progress. So you have a lot of emphasis. Oh, I used my cards wrong there. You have a lot of emphasis on just drawing cards. They also have um, some more unique skills. So for example, like Evoke. You put Evoke down first, and then after a delay, you can use it again to, um, uh, to attack the enemies. So that's kind of a interesting skill to get used to. Oh, interesting. I got... Um, uh, Wheel of Fate. If you get Wheel of Fate or Wheel of Fortune, kind of use that with your Awakening. And draw two more cards, so I got an Emperor card there. And I wouldn't be too shy about using Emperor. Or rather, I wouldn't be too shy about using your Awakening. Especially in Chaos Dungeons, just because there's a lot of opportunities to refresh your cooldown for it. I think it's... It's pretty good, and drawing the cards is pretty nice too. So I got another Wheel of Fortune here. This again. And then with these big guys... I did it wrong again. You want to use your... your um, you want to use your other card before you use Royal for a card draw here. Oh, one thing to mention. This is a really big thing that I think people are going to be likely to miss. Coal is really good, right? Gives you crit rate and crit damage. But if you notice at the end, it says when they hit only one foe. So in Chaos Dungeons, it's completely useless, okay? You guys should remember that. Basically, whenever you draw coal in a Chaos Dungeon, you can just immediately use it. It's it's not going to be helpful in any way for you. Given the way that Chaos Dungeons are, coal is not a super high value card. Most of the time, to be honest, with Chaos Dungeons, you can kind of just um, dump any card that isn't Emperor, to be honest. Oh. Oh. And then for the big targets, you kind of want to use your Ruin skills on them. So I kind of just generally save my Celestial Reign for um, when bosses show up. With a higher level Preemptive Strike, your Emperor can do significant amounts of damage to them. So you want to use... I personally would use Star first and do that, and then I rolled an Emperor. Which I could have saved for this next pool, but whatever. You play for the RNG, you know? This is the big... This is the benefit of playing the Arcana class, is you get to... Everything is honing RNG, you know? You're connected to the roots of Lost Ark. Ooh, got another Emperor. And so that's really all you're doing. So for most of these trash mobs, I'm not really using my blue skills. And I don't know if that's ideal or not. Um, as I said, I'm just like learning and experimenting with the class. But so far, I found that to be generally the 
best case. Emperor card. We're just trying to cycle our yellow skills as much as we can. Coal is useless for us. Medusa is pretty good, but really you should be trying to cycle your yellow cards as much as you can. You get Judgment, you can use that as well. The Emperor card. The range on Emperor is pretty big too, it's basically your screen. You don't really have to wait for mobs to gather necessarily either. Yeah, and Coal is useless. Use all your cards for your Royal. We got Coal, which is useless, but then we got Emperor, which is great. And we can pop our Twisted Fae for increased damage. Potentially increased damage, which I find hilarious. Put Evoke down. Evoke's great. It draws you a lot of cards. So you want to use Evoke whenever you can, but it being delayed makes it a little bit awkward to use. Most of the time when I use Evoke... Okay, let's wait for these guys to be vulnerable. Pop them. Most of the time when I use Evoke, because there's a delay before you activate it, I like to use Stream of Edge with it. I just put them on top of each other. As the mobs come in, they get stuck by the Stream of Edge, and that guarantees that my Evoke will hit hit mobs. So pretty smooth. I, and I and again, like my engravings for this Chaos Dungeon build is nowhere near like perfect or even average. It's just like level one preemptive and uh, level one Emperor, right? A very low uh, low investment. Wait for these mobs to spawn. Emperor, and the range is very big, right? It's basically your whole screen. I'd say it's pretty relaxed. I think the second room is probably the most awkward room, I think, for Arcana. Um, because there's a lot of boss mobs there. The mobs aren't even spawning fast enough for the Emperor cards that I drew. Focus on drawing cards. If you put Twisted Fate around yourself, it's much harder for you to take damage. Move on. Uh, because things will be staggered if they're melee. If they're ranged, then you'll start taking chip damage. But that's also one of the things that I noticed playing Arcana is that um, it was pretty easy to take a lot of chipping damage. Yes. Just looking to draw cards, wait for our Ruin to come back up. Got our Ruin skills back up. Wheel of Fate. Um, you don't need to save it for Awakening specifically. I like to use it on the W skill. But I have no idea if that's the best. Usually doesn't really matter. That, and then we'll use our awakening on this guy. Er. So really, we're just trying to draw cards with speed. And for, basically, you want to cycle your cards as fast as you can. One of the big things is, once you hit two cards drawn, it like resets your identity, right? Like you can't gain more identity gauge. And so ideally, like you want to, you want to never be sitting at two cards. Like the instant you have two cards, you want to make at least a decision on one of your cards. Um, otherwise you're hampering your draw. That makes sense. Got Wheel of Fortune, but I don't need to like, didn't necessarily need to use my Awakening with it. Didn't draw anything useful. I like the Q and the E first because they're very fast animations. Whereas a W, like when you use it, kind of like stuck there for a while. You really can only cancel out of your W, or rather out of your unlimited shuffle, um, with your space bar. And if you go too far into the animation, you can't even do that. So. Got ruined so I can just use my celestial rain to kill the boss. Here, make sure to use your cards in case you get some kind of like a double draw or something. 
Because of all the tripod that RNG draws you a card, there's a world where your bar fills up that draws one, and then the RNG proc happens and you get another card. So if you're already sitting on one card, you kind of waste the potential for a draw, you know? Obviously in Chaos Dungeons, you're just, you're just literally trying to cycle your cards as fast as you can. Emperor. Trying to cycle cards. I could double draw here, right? So I want to clear that as fast as I can. That's it. Pretty simple. So I found Chaos Dungeons after a little bit of tweaking around and experimenting with things. It's not that bad. It's pretty comfortable on Arcana. Um, the main things is for the big bodies, you either Awakening or you try to use your Celestial Rain um, on them and then continue to try to draw cards. Let's take, let's take a look at how the Guardian raids do. So I'm on Kugelanium. The big thing about um, Arcana is I, I think your counters are kind of awkward, to be honest. If you use Serendipity to counter, you kind of like dump your stacks on a skill that isn't very strong unless you have cards up. Like Serendipity isn't... You really want to be prioritizing using Secret Garden and Celestial Rain over Serendipity whenever you can, unless you have Coal or Judgment, something like that. Um, and so what ends up happening is like, ideally you want to damage after you counter a boss, but the problem is, is if you have stacks and you Serendipity, then when you're trying to do damage, you have to restack your stacks, if that makes sense. Um, which is kind of annoying. The other counter that you have is on your return. If you read the uh, tooltip, it says throw a card towards the target location to inflict whatever damage, and then you counterattack. So that's actually a counter. And that can be kind of nice, because if you had your stacks and then you use return, then you can immediately just go into your rune skills and do damage. But it's kind of the flip side. If you didn't have your stacks, then you just use return. Then you have to stack up. Then you might not get two ruin skills in your return window, which is also kind of annoying. But it's food for thought. In the early stages of Kungaladium, when it still has its armor, I tend to try to just use this opportunity to build up cards. I don't use my awakening either. Um, so Twisted Fate is one that I will keep for some future situation. Use Serendipity there since my rain is on cooldown. Okay, so this is a pretty good set. So I'm pretty, like, ready for... Okay, so I can go here. I don't know if my damage got involved. I don't think it did, but... The thing is, if you don't do it right when he gets armor broken, then you have to wait for him to go away and come back up, so hopefully... Also, as you can see, you can RNG draw a card while it's, um... So with this card setup, I have Royal. So I kind of want to use Coal. And then Royal. And I'm too lazy to, um... I've got Balance here as well. So I'm just going to... Um, use some filler here. I'm gonna call here. Oh. Watch under your feet and then dodge away. Always try to keep your Call of Destiny going. Okay, so I've got Judgments. So that's pretty big, big damage. I'm going to try to draw one more card and see what I get. And get anything good. I'm going to go here. Pretty big damage. Got Corrosion, so we can just use that. Oh, somebody in this party is just pooping damage right now. Might be the Sorg? The war dancer might be both. It's definitely not me. It's definitely not me. That's basically it. Oh, I threw my call of destiny, but oh, we still got it. But you can see even if you hit an invincible target, as long as it hits something, you still draw a card on it. Okay, mayhem we can just use. Nice, we staggered it. We'll just use mayhem here. This, do that, throw that, use a star. 
Make him again. Draw a card again. Make him again. Back away from this in case it does something weird. It's probably gonna jump. Okay, it didn't jump. Watch what it does. Okay, we're probably safe where we are. Our twisted fate. Balance. Wow, somebody with pooping damage. Balance is an interesting card because I think you can actually get three ruin skills in one return if you have balance up. Um, and I think it might be different. Before I had my max tripod on Quadra Accelerate, if I use Quadra Accelerate, it was too slow. But if I had four stacks and I use return, then I use one Scratch of the Air, one Ruin, uh, two Spiral Edges, one Ruin. I think I could fit all of that in a... Um, which I wanted to see what eye level that uh, Four Dancer was, but that guy was owning. It was pretty good. I'm definitely enjoying the class because even doing something like Guardian Raids, it's fun to kind of just like um, be actively like fishing for cards, looking for big damage combos. I like uh, arranging your cooldown set. It, it's um, pretty fun. And there's obviously things that I can optimize more about the gameplay. I think like you have a good set of mobility skills too, which makes it pretty fun to pilot. So overall, I would say that like Arcana is a, a pretty great class to play. Now, it's been hard for me to like really compare my damage output with other classes just because my class is on catch up right now, you know? Um, most of the people at this level of content have relic set as well, have a lot of relic set. They could have full relic set. Oops, for some reason I thought it bounced, but I had Medusa. Get somebody else to deal with the blue, you know? Star, I'm just gonna use that. Nice, so this is a good, this is a good set of cards to have. Once this thing, um, it's armor broken, we're gonna go on a big combo. Away from that. Serendipity here. We're at range. I'm going to use Quadra Accelerate first. Just a stagger. It slows its armor up. You can see my mana is getting pretty low. I get Conviction Judgment here. Switch out of mana. Nice, we got Judgment before we got knocked down. Uh, I'm gonna save my skills in case we break armor soon. There it is. Nice, we did tons of damage there. So with Judgment, we can just dump all three of our Rune skills in a row. We spacebar cancel Death Bound so that we can use Celestial Rain to get the Barricade on the Awakening. Which, to my understanding, is kind of like normal Awakening rotation that you would do in that circumstance. Our ability to catch up. Get that counter there. Their mobility to get away from that while preparing our stacks. Star is good value. Draw a card. That down. I'm gonna use coal here, even though I don't think it was ideal since I missed my secret guardian with it, but whatever. Hold a bit. We have judgment. So with judgment, you kind of want to hold um, until I have all three of my rune skills. 
I'm gonna try to draw another card here. It's mayhem. So we're gonna do damage here. And on its side here. Oh! Woo! Nice, we hit it in the crit damage window. We can start here as well. It's not bad. It's not going very poorly. We got some good card draws so far. Two relatively big combos in this fight. So now we're just um, we're just drawing cards, right? I always try to draw cards. You really want to draw as many cards as you can. So when it comes up, I'm gonna use these both and draw more cards. Because really, I'm just trying to fish for something. Like Twisted Fate is good. He might jump here. Yep. But don't just like run in blindly. Try to draw another card and see what happens. Okay, we're doing some damage here. Get away from that stuff. Oh, we didn't make it out in time. Nice. Okay, so I think the optimal for this is we go with a one card combo and then use Royal. Star there. Whew! Here they got breathed on. Breath on. Oh. Okay, we have judgment here. Thank God. That guy was jumping around. That guy was jumping around. Cool. So later today, I have the rest of the hard Vicus run. I'm trying to pick up the boxes as well to catch up with relic set pieces. Um, ideally, we'll be able to get into our um, nightmare set pretty quick. I think as long as I finish my hard Vicus, I should be able to get at least one piece for Vicus and one piece from Volton. But I might want to try to craft the vaults and weapon first I haven't really decided I haven't decided what's best if I get like 17 a week so I think weapon is 25 and then armor pieces are 10 right so 35 17 20 34 I would be like one bone off yeah well that's kind of the update um so arcana pretty fun I really like it um, let me know if you guys have questions or if you want to see more about the Arcana. And um, maybe I can share more of my perspective or my insight about it. <clears throat> I'm still learning the class. Um, there's definitely a lot to get used to, but I would say it's a very fun class to play. If you guys were curious about it, I would encourage you to give it a try. I guess I should say this too. I saved a good bit of materials. I, I wasn't like, I didn't have a ton of materials going into the Arcana release. Um, and because I had a character that both had the stronghold buff, then there was a global honing buff, then with the express pass, when I was leveling Markana, I used a power pass to get it up to 1302. And with the express, from 1302 to 1370, I basically like a little, like I, I broke even and then I made a little bit more <laughs> with the materials honing. So the express pass was insane. Global honing buff, stronghold buff, express pass, I basically profited materials. It, basi it was basically free for me to get to 1370. And starting from 1370, I used a lot of my saved materials. Getting it to getting it to 1460, I would say probably cost me the equivalent of about like... Actually, this isn't exactly accurate, but basically like 200k gold, but that 200k gold includes things like my tripods and my gems and stuff like that. Basically, this character up until this point cost me about 200k gold to, to get to. Some people say that Arcana doesn't really feel good unless you invest a lot into it, so take that with a grain of salt, right? Um, I'm having a good time with the class, but 
you might need a little bit more investment to um to get the class rolling um but that's it hopefully you guys are having fun with the new patch and um again let me know if you guys have any questions